everybody. My name is Sunshine Selby and I'm a speech language pathologist at the Sarah Dooley Center for Autism. Today I wanted to make a quick message for all you families and parents out there that have children that use AAC devices. There's lots of different programs out there, but whenever you're working with a child or any individual and teaching them how to use their communication device, there's three things that you really want to remember. One, Make sure that the child has a way to get someone's attention because if they're just putting information on the device about what they want, but they're not alerting it to anyone else, well, that's not really communication, is there? That's like a child sitting alone in a room asking for an apple. If they're not sharing what they need with someone else, then we're missing a very key component of communication. So one, you want to make sure you model for them getting someone's attention whether that's walking towards them, waving to get their attention, trying to softly, safely touch their shoulder. You wanna see what is something that you can consistently model that would be a good way to demonstrate to your child that they need to get someone's attention first. So that's step one. Step two, I'm sure you've been working on the whole time is their message. Um, one key thing to remember is when they're putting their message in, you want to make sure they also take the time to touch the top bar that says the entire statement. So if they've been putting in, I want more, you want them to, once they have someone's attention, to press I want more. so that they are getting attention, then pressing the bar that has their entire message. And then part three is if you don't have it set to automatically clear, which can be difficult for most students because if they're working on getting attention and you walk up, you wanna see what they have already asked for. You don't want it to just go away. So a lot of times after that, we wanna teach them to hit clear. So that will give them a free bar to type their next message. So you're not having one long ongoing message all day long. So again, we wanna remember Step one, attention. Step two, tell the message. And step three, clear the message once it's been received to make room for a new message. So those are three things I try to coach with families to help them to make sure that their students and their children are able to communicate in the most effective way possible with a device. Again, three things, attention, message, clear. Um, and so those are just things that I want you to continue to work on and hopefully this is a nice reminder for you. You should have heard this before, so this should hopefully be just a nice reminder as you are continuing to work with your child on using their device safely and effectively. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.